Hello all my fellow sparklers, it's the weekend after Thanksgiving and I have a fun holiday unbagging for you. This is a mystery holiday kit from Diamond Painting Obsession. Um, it, I ordered a while back, I actually forgot it was coming, um, but she did say it would ship at the end of November and so, so it did and it arrived the other day and now we're going to see what's inside. So I kind of like the mystery kits. Um, because I like the surprise, but not everyone does. So we have one, two diamond paintings, and then we have a craft, and let's see. Oh, and some keychains. Oh, and this. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, look at this. So, as you can see, it's a little deer with antlers and then pretty kind of sparkly diamonds. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. That is super cute. And then it's got the standard tip. So that's a lot of fun. Alright, let's look first at the craft. And then we'll look at the diamond thing. So these are keychains. And from the looks of it, it looks like a moose. And then probably other holiday things. So I'm going to unwrap this and we'll look more closely. Okay, so as you can see, we have some fun keychains here. They come with these little hooks and chains, but if you wanted to, you could skip this part out and just put this part on and hang it as an ornament. So here's a snowman and a little hat. And these are the kind of clear acrylic looking um, plastic you can see from the side. And then they get the diamond painting bit printed on. A fun tree. I really like that one. I might keep that one as an ornament. Uh, Santa Claus. And these big old mittens. This is a big one. Super cute. And I love this moose or reindeer. Um, could be a caribou. Depends on what part of the world you come from. And then they all have special drills. Um, I think there's one normal drill, but mostly special drills. And not like the little train runs from right to left, which is a bit unusual. But you can see here we have some nice garnet red crystals. And a bright emerald green. We have black with the silver backing. Ooh, focus. Okay. And then we have silver little balls with a black backing, which is kind of funny. I don't think these are faceted. No, they are. Okay, they're faceted. They look round, but they are silver faceted. So I haven't seen those. That's a lot of fun. And we have some white, which you would expect with winter things. And this is a deep golden yellow and then a slightly lighter golden yellow. That's those and we have some more special drills here. We have these hearts um, that I've already seen that go on the Santa hat and the mittens. Um, so probably a bit extra of those. Then we have these large cabochon, kind of ruby colored cabochons. I think those are the balls on the tree. Then we have these pretty gold balls. Half balls, I should say. We have these beautiful Aurora Borealis teal marquees. Those are pretty. I love these. These little um, kind of pearlized iridescent teardrops. I get these in a lot of special jewel kits and they're just super cute. And then finally, also a lot of fun stars. I love stars in just about anything, so it's hard to go wrong with a star drill. And that one goes on the moose and the mittens and the tree. So a lot of fun things with these um, keychains slash ornaments. Um, and I love that they're double sided. So those will be a good quick project if you need one for kids or family visiting. I mean, this would kind of be a fun thing to do with your um, close family. I mean, we're not having friends over right now. Or you could mail this to your friend and get on Zoom and get your glass of wine and have a wine in DP um, if you really wanted to. This is an easy thing to mail in an envelope and share. But I enjoyed this, so this is a fun craft. Good choice. And let's move on to our next craft. So our next craft item is a fun LED diamond painting, and that means um, a light. So it's a clear acrylic. It's got the diamond painting pattern on it, and usually pretty covered in special drills. And um, medium crystals, and you know, maybe some pearlized ones. 
gives our drills. Oh, this is this is cute. Um, a Santa holding all these nicely wrapped presents, and it is double sided, so you get this pattern on both sides. And this would be fun to put in like a guest bathroom for a nightlight or their bedroom um, or maybe your bedroom just to give it a little just to give it a little more of a Christmas feel. Um, so this is the base. Take it out and show you. Um, and you would, if you're unfamiliar, pop this in here. There you go. And he stands up. And this is a USB plug, so you plug it into a power outlet. Usually, I and mean, you could technically plug it into your computer if you really wanted to. Um, but probably drain your battery pretty good. And I just noticed this funny printing here. It looks very different from up here. Okay, never mind. Get that out. So, plug this in here. It comes on. There's your power button. Um, I don't have a plug close to my um, recording area <laughs> to show you. So, I'm going to leave Santa here and I'm going to take these jewels out and we get a closer look. So, this looks like all crystal drills and one special drill, which is this half pearl. And this is going to go here on the end of his little hat on both sides. So don't lose one because they only gave you two and you need both of them. Then we have some crystal drills and number one is what they call um, number one looks like a really light smoky gray. It almost looks like clear but just with a touch of smokiness. Number two is a lime green, maybe like a lemon lime. It's a bit lighter than lime, maybe. Let's see, what way are we going here? Okay. Number three is kind of a light garnet red. It's definitely deeper red than ruby, um, but not as deep in wine color as garnet gets sometimes. Number four, this looks like a red brown. In some lights, it's kind of looking like that wine garnet color I was talking about, but in other lights, if you'll stay focused for me, it has almost more of a brown tint. Number five is definitely kind of a nut brown color. Number six is an emerald green. Number seven is a... This looks more like the lime green compared to number two. I'll show you. And then this is more of like a lemon lime color. Number eight is pink. Just kind of a bubblegum pink. Number nine is a golden yellow. Ten is a lavender purple. Eleven. It's almost like a London blue topaz if you're familiar with that. Or a, C a Ceylon sapphire which is not... It's having trouble with this writing on the backs. Not quite as deep as like a uh, usual sapphire, but Ceylon sapphires are generally a bit lighter like this. And then we have these golden balls, so that's kind of fun. I think those go in the presents? I think they're supposed to be jingle bells actually. So they're here on these ribbons, those golden balls, and I think they're kind of supposed to represent jingle bells. So this was a really cute craft idea. I definitely like this as an addition and I, if I can get this done, I just, I'm working on so many Christmas presents and other things and I bake also at the holidays like many of us. Um, but if I were able to get this done this season or even next, I would put this in my guest bathroom. Uh, just kind of as a fun little Christmas decoration. All right, let's move on. I forgot to mention, you can also put AA batteries in this. I didn't show you that part. So you can forget the cord altogether and put AA batteries in it. So, like I said, it comes with two diamond paintings. This is how they come boxed. They are a total mystery. There's nothing on the box to indicate what they are, other than a model number, which of course I don't know what that relates to. Uh, these happen to be sequential. These happen to be sequential, so there's one 
1422 and 1423. So I don't know if they're related or they just happen to be sequential because they're both in the holiday uh, list. So let's find out what's inside. All right. So we have, wow. Come on out. We have some nice tweezers. And then we have two kits. So that's pretty good. Uh, one basic kit, but it comes with a multi placer. So it is a step up. You got some baggies, wax on a tray. And then we have this other tray, more wax, more baggies, and actually labels. And I love getting labels. I do use them regularly. Um, I got some at Family Dollar, like a, a pack of 300 for a couple bucks. But they're round, and I prefer the square ones, but that's all the Family Dollar had at the time. Okay, let's see what the painting looks like. Um, it's poured glue. It says... 35 by 45. Okay, so we'll measure it. It is a full drill. It looks like squares. It's round. Okay, it's just square printed, but um, it doesn't have training circles, which is fine. I don't particularly love training circles. I'm going to pull you out to see the whole thing. This is cute. Oh, the snowman is feeding the cardinals. I like this one. Um, there's a lot of snowman ones out there, and some I like more than others. I'll try to flatten it a bit. Come on now. So because this is poured glue, I'm not worried about it getting rivers. Um, it does need to be flattened a bit. You can just kind of see the travel creases in it. Um, but time would just flatten that out, or you could low iron it if you were in a hurry to get it done. Maybe you want to display it for the holidays. And the drills are in nice baggies, which is even better. So I'm going to unbag these and we'll take a closer look. Okay, so I'm going to measure it really quickly before I tell you what all the colors are. Um, and it is just under 30. And this is probably about 40. So that's what you expect uh, from a lot of these poured glue paintings. Um, about 5 centimeters off the top and bottom, the sides and top and bottom. Uh, there are 25 colors. There are DMC codes on the side, they're not on the bags. But you just match the number up with the DMC code. So, I'm going to start off with number one. And number one is controversial because um, I use Gems Flow app to tell me the colors. And this says that it's bright red. That 150, DMC 150 is bright red. Um, the internet says it's ultra very dark dusty rose, which seems more likely. Um, and also there's another color, which is 666, which is listed as bright red. So... I'm going to go with the internet, and this is ultra, very dark, dusty rose. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with Jim's app, Jim's flow app, if someone goes in and changes listings, or if that got confused from the outset, or what. Alright, number two is 310, and that is black. Number three is medium dark antique mode, and that is DMC 315. Number four is DMC 321, which is red. 5 is DMC 349 Dark Coral. Number 6 is DMC 413 Dark Peter Gray. Number 7 is 550 Very Dark Violet. Number 8 is DMC 666 and this is what is bright red and it's much more fitting. Number 9 720 Orange Spice Dark Number 10 is Medium Old Gold, DMC 729. Number 11 is 798, Dark Delft Blue. Number 12 is 814, which is Dark Garnet. 13 is 823, which is Dark Navy Blue. 14 is 825, Dark Blue. Okay, I wonder if these got mixed up. Let's compare these. So, 14 is 825, you got that right, yeah, which is dark blue, and 15 is 826, which is medium blue, but you can see here, it's definitely darker. I don't think it'll matter, this is just going in the background as part of the sky, it's not going to be a big difference, but I just find it interesting that 15 is definitely darker than 14, and I wonder if these have gotten mixed up at the factory or wherever they bag these. Number 16 is... Lost my place now. Talking about these blues. 
Uh, ultra dark pistachio green and that is DMC 890. Number 17 is 898 which is very dark coffee brown. 18 is 919 red copper. 19 is 3042 light antique violet. Number 20 is 3328 dark salmon. 21 is 3756, which is just called baby blue. It's very, very light. This is it's got a hint of blue. Um, and it's part of the snowman here, which, you know, white with a bit of blue, and it really works for snow. But this is not baby blue. This is super ultra light baby blue. But whatever, DMC. It could be my gem slow app again. Number 22 is 3808, which is ultra very dark turquoise. 23 is 38.15, and that is dark celadon green. 38.35 is medium grape. And number 25 is 38.42, dark wedgewood. Um, so you see that's a lot of the sky color back here. Very pretty. A nice color palette. You get the nice um, evening blues, and then they kind of contrast against these warm cardinals and the the knitted hat and I think that Santa Claus on top of his knitted hat that's super cute this is a really cute painting I enjoy it it was a good choice for a Christmas box and now we're gonna look at the second one okay time to find out what 01423 looks like I enjoyed 04 I enjoyed 01422 uh, still looks like fun okay we get the same tweezers two Kits with thin placers, labels, baggies, so really good. It looks very Christmassy, this darker green tray. I don't know why some are darker green, but if there's a difference between those and the little tray, there's a difference in length. Okay, so you can see here, I've got them, okay, so you can see here, I've got them matched up at the front, and the darker green trays are a little bit longer than the light green ones. Oh, super fun. This one's cute, too. It's kittens in a basket with ornaments. Like, oh my goodness, how could you not like this? I enjoyed both of these choices. It is, again, 35 by 45 centimeters, um, as it states up here at the top. But um, it, I'm sure it's 30 by 40, uh, which is pretty standard. But we'll have a fun measure just for kicks and giggles. Yep, we're hitting right just under 30 there, and... Just under 40 down here. So, quite good. 25 colors, DMC codes on the side, and I'm sorry I didn't show you the snowman, so you can see how clear it is, but the symbols are clear. They're printed well, uh, there's no training circles, and then they're pretty much letters and numbers, and then a few symbols, but it looks like they took care not to have anything too confusing. Those two might be a bit similar, but different backgrounds, and you can see 24 is filled in more. Definitely a cute painting. Um, who doesn't love kittens? And hiding under a tree. My cats have been pretty good. They haven't really played with ornaments on the tree, but it's what you expect with kittens knocking ornaments off. Uh, again, the drills are bagged. When you get bagged drills like this, if you haven't done it before or you're wondering why they're different they're weighed out um they're not so when you get the little crinkly plastic bags that you have to cut apart those have been counted by a machine uh, i really hope no one's hand counting those uh so there's about 200 in the small bags and then bigger bags have 500 or a thousand these have been weighed out uh, so you don't need an inventory sheet because Hopefully they have weighed out the amount you need. Um, I haven't had any problems with these yet. If you run short of drills, I'm sure you can contact the company and get more. Um, but usually when they're weighed out, there's not a problem because you weren't shorted bags. It weighed the appropriate amount. Um, so that's why they don't have um, any inventory sheets included with these poured glue ones. So. One more look at the kittens and then bring you in closer and we will look at these drills. Look at those cute little faces. All right, let me open up these drills. 
Okay, so here's our color palette, some earth tones for the kittens, and I have some green for the trees, and some reds for the ornaments. Um, so kind of uh, a softer color palette, not like a bright red-green Christmas color palette, but definitely um, more earth tone hues, which I like, and it might fit differently with different people's decor. Some people like the vibrant reds, greens, blues, and some people like these softer tones. So. Let's start with number one, which is our ubiquitous 310 black. Number two is 315 medium dark antique mauve. Number three is 414 dark steel gray. Four is 415 pearl gray. Five is 436 tan. And this tan is a bit more yellowish than I think of tan, but it's still a nice color. It looks more like um, that old gold and the cross stitch. Number six is 498 dark red. Seven is 613 very light drab brown. Number eight is 640 very dark beige gray. Number nine is 647 medium beaver gray. Ten is 676 light old gold. Kind of straw yellow there. Kind of a little bit closer. Get better light down here. Um, number 11 is 823, very dark navy blue. I'm sorry, just dark navy blue. The very dark is uh, 939, I think. I can't remember. Number 12 is 831, and this is medium golden olive. 13 is 842, very light beige brown. 14 is 844. Ultra Dark Beaver Gray. 15 is 898, Very Dark Coffee Brown. 16 is 902, Very Dark Garnet. Really nice color there. I like this one too. 17 is 931, Medium Antique Blue. 18 is... 18 is oh, okay. Sorry, I missed my book. 18 is 938, Ultra Dark Coffee Brown. 19 is 3346 hunter green. Number 20 is 3348 light yellow green. 21 is 3371 black brown. Number 22 is 3607 light plum. 23 is 3609 ultra light plum. 24 is 3782, light mocha brown. And last but not least, a lot of this, 25 is 3866, and that is ultra very light mocha brown, so it's just kind of a tad darker than cream. Um, a lot of background, probably some for the kittens, um, but this is a really uh, cute choice. I definitely like it, and I'm gonna just show you some of the drills closely. You can see the backs look flat. You can see that there's nice faceting to them. If you can see some sparkle through the back, that's a good sign because the plastic dulls the sparkle. Uh, so if it's shining through a bit in the bag, you're already good. I don't see any trash and the drills look like good quality. So um, overall, this kit was $50 and I know that seems like a lot. Sometimes when we put it in that amount, but honestly, if you were to buy these separately on a website, you'd be paying more than that. Uh, it's two diamond paintings. Let's go, I mean, $12 is even on the cheap end. You might be paying $15 for paintings like this. Um, they're poured glue. They're good uh, quality printing. They're good quality drills. Um, so two paintings at 12 bucks each. That's 24 bucks. That's half of what you paid just about already. Um, Kits like this, they're eight to ten dollars, so we'll go cheap in eight for that. These are like twelve bucks, so we already have another twenty there, so we're already at forty-four dollars. Uh, and pins like this, you're paying eight to ten bucks, so you get a pretty good value for your money. Um, they were fun surprises. I enjoyed the selections, and I would definitely recommend it if you enjoy getting things like a mystery. Christmas box. I don't know if she's still selling them this year. I will check her website and put the link below. Um, but uh, we we kind of had to order these early, so it may be something to think about for next year um, because I think it might be something she puts together ahead of time. But if she has any left, 
um, then they'd be on our site and you could still order them. But I'll link them below. And thank you, Diamond Painting Obsession. This was a lot of fun to unbox. I enjoyed the choices and I think it was good quality for the money. So I hope you enjoyed this mystery holiday unboxing. I look forward to joining you in future videos. Keep on sparkling.